Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, once again. You are welcome to a live session by JOMAC Educational Consult, where we'll be treating issues concerning admission and the application procedure for Norwegian schools. My name is Mr. Michael A. Naya, the CEO of JOMAC Educational Consult. Today, I'm having a co-host with me in the person of Ms. Precious Alfred, the senior consultant for Jamaic Educational Consult. Ms. Precious, can you please unmute yourself? Ms. Precious, unmute yourself, please. Ms. Precious, unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, how are you doing today? Hello, good evening. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Um, am I being heard by others? Please, if you can hear me, just type yes in the chat box. Type yes to indicate you can hear me. Please, if you can hear me, just type yes in the chat box. Okay, thank you. So, Ms. Precious, um, can you tell us um, what we need to know, the basic things we need to know uh, regarding our processing of our application for Norwegian schools? Hello, Ms. Precious, can you hear me? Ms. Precious, can you hear me? Ms. Precious, you need to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, unmute yourself. We can't hear you. Hello? Hello, good evening. Can you hear me all? Okay, we can hear you now. Please go ahead, tell our viewers okay. the basic things they need to know concerning admission procedure and the uh, re uh, requirement for Norwegian school. We can hear you now. You have the floor, go ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm here to talk about the basic facts for Norwegian and some will be open on the 15th, while some will open in November, but the deadline is usually December. And admission is once a year, unlike in some countries where there is a spring and fall admission. In Norway, international students only get enrolled once in a year, in August. So if you're applying in 2021, your, this application is against August admission, next year. So for Norway schools, it is uh, a tuition free for all students, both local and international. It's a tuition free and there is no IELTS exam or any other entrance examination for Nigerian students too. And uh, you need to get a minimum of C4 in your English language in WIEC and our uh, courses are taught in English. English is widely spoken in, uh, in Norway. Also, it's a study and work. And as an international student in Norway, you are allowed to work for 20 hours per, per week. 
You also have the opportunity of securing a post-study work permit after graduation if you decide to stay back in, in Norway. So for BSC, uh, you need a passport data page and uh, a good BIEC result. You need a good BIEC result. And for masters, if you're applying for a master's program, you will need a passport data page, your soft copy transcript, and uh, your passport photograph, your transcript, your CV, and your degree certificate in your area of specialization. And also some schools will require your thesis, your master thesis, that, that is what we call um, a statement of purpose. Please, if you're hearing me, please, you can. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. We are hearing you. OK, let's continue. You also need a, a proof of fund of $12,000 to cover for your accommodation and uh, living expenses. And this is just for one, for one session. It's a per session. You're going to renew it in the next session. So the procedure is to apply to us and you have to send in your academic credentials, your passport data page and your, your proof of fund. The school will offer provisional admission if you meet the initial requirements. Then you have to contact your alma mater to send your transcript directly to the school within the application period. You also need to pay in your $12,000 or thereabouts to the school account, which the school will provide for you. This is for your accommodation and for your living expenses. This is the fund you transfer to the school account, the, the account the school will provide for you. When you get to Norway, the school will have to transfer back the funds for you in the account. Letter and other documents for your visa application. You apply for visa online with the documents sent to you. The embassy will respond with guidelines to follow. I think they, they have embassy in Ghana, but there's a VFS office here in Nigeria and the visa is issued and you're good to go. And for our charges, our service fees are some of 100,000 there for us to process the application, application for you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Ms. Precious, um, thank you for doing justice uh, to that. Um, what are the steps? What are the, what are the steps to follow uh, in applying? What are the basic steps to follow, both for first degree and uh, for master's program? Give us uh, a rundown of the basic step to follow. Thank you. Okay, for the basic steps to follow, uh, this you have to submit your academic credentials to us, your passport data page, your proof of fund, your CV your, for masters and um, your transcript. If it's a masters, you have to submit it to us. Then we have to process the application for you. The school will offer provisional admission. If you meet the initial requirements, then you have to contact your alma mater to send your transcript directly to the school within the application period. Then for your proof of fund, you have to pay $12,000 or thereabout to the school account, which the school will provide for you. This is for your accommodation and other living expenses. Remember this fund will be transferred back to you when you get there. So you will be asked to open an account and the fund will be transferred to you. Then the school will send an acceptance letter and other documents for your visa application. Then you have to apply for your visa online with a guidance and with the documents sent to you. The embassy will respond with guidelines to follow and the visa will be issued. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you very much, Ms. Precious, for doing justice to that. Um, I want to add uh, regarding the proof of form. Um, so many people they ask questions, but is a tuition free? Um, why the proof of form again? Yes, like I explained yesterday, we have two kinds of schools uh, in Norway. We have um, private schools and we have public schools. The public schools they are tuition free. They are tuition free. Public schools in Norway, they are tuition free. You don't pay any school fee. However, you have to pay for your accommodation and living expenses. And it is the accommodation and living expenses that the school will require you to pay a certain amount going by the, the value last session is close to $12,000, which was about 6 million naira at our last session. And with the exchange rate now, it's most likely to be higher than that. So the, val the value varies from school to school, but it's uh, in the range of $12,000. And it's per session. You pay that every session. So if you provide the proof of fund now, when you apply, the school will not give you provisional admission, after which you will be required to actually pay that money to the school. So some people, they ask us, can you arrange proof of fund? Can you do this? Can you do that? That is ridiculous. Because at the end of the day, you are going to pay that money. It's not only the proof of fund, you will eventually have to pay the money. So asking for proof of fund or anything, it will not help you. If you are qualified, when I say qualified, I mean academically and financially then we can proceed with your application. But if you're not qualified, maybe financially, there are other schools you can enroll for in other countries, maybe that you meet their um, requirements. So if you check the basic information that has been given out and you are convinced you, you, you qualify for it, they can contact us to start the process of your application because the earlier you start, the better, especially for those for uh, masters, because you need to get transcript from your alma mater, and you know that uh, in Nigeria, getting a uh, transcript is a talk of war. Sometimes you might even, uh, you might end up getting frustrated. You might end up not getting the transcript, even after paying pay a lot of money. So the earlier you start to pursue uh, the transcript, the better. Thank you. Uh, we'll be expecting question. If you have any question, uh, you can ask. Um, and look at the chat box. If you have any question, um, you can be permitted to unmute yourself to ask, or you can chat it. Um, okay, uh, that will, that, please, uh, I just joined. Okay, there's a recording. There's a recording of this uh, uh, meeting, Zoom meeting, which we'll post later. Uh, so what's the requirement for masters? Ms. Precious, uh, can you be kind enough to give a rundown again for the payment for masters as being asked by uh, Daudun. Okay, uh, Mr. Daudun, uh, for your master's requirement, uh, you'll be needing your transcript, that's a soft copy. Then you need your degree certificate, your CV, your passport photograph, and uh, your passport data page. And some schools will require you to get a, a thesis, a master's thesis, which we call the statements of purpose. So these are the basic requirements you need for your master's program. Okay, thank you. Um, that would I say, accent is it really tuition free? I think you just joined now. We have treated it. Yes, it's hundred percent tuition free. Every public school in Norway is tuition free. What you are paying for is uh, to cover your accommodation and living expenses uh, for a session. So um, the money we pay to the school, the school will send you their school account where you pay in the money. And if you succeed in getting admission, of course, before you pay the money, they must have given you professional admission and you will need to send a proof of fund and your transcript for the uh, professional admission to be converted to um, a proper admission letter on the basis of sending the money and your uh, transcript. Once they get that, they will now send you proof of fund from their own bank in your favor 
and other documents with which you now apply for visa. Yes, Lawal, Hamid, you are raising your hands. Okay, you can unmute yourself, unmute yourself and go ahead with your question. Uh, Lawal, Hamid, you can unmute yeah. yourself. Yeah, good evening. I actually want to ask, can you recommend any other country that the attrition fee is quite lower than Norway? Okay, um, thank you for your question. Uh, we have different schools uh, that will uh, do student placement for them. Um, uh, we have US, we have uh, Poland, we have uh, Norway, we have uh, um, um, Russia. Uh, Ru uh, Russia. 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 Now, the most expensive, the most expensive is USA. US school is the most expensive. That one you need to afford $24,000. Uh, on the average, uh, but for last session, last uh, two months or so that we just uh, tidied up, they were actually asked to provide for about 22,900 USD. That fund must be there. The embassy must confirm it. And the good thing is that you don't pay until you arrive on campus, but the proof of fund must be seen. Then after that, we have uh, Norway. Norway, you need to provide proof of fund of $12,000, which eventually you must transfer to the school. Then we have uh, Poland. Well, the proof of fund is about 2.3 to 2.5 million, uh, but the portal is closed now. Then we have Russia. If you're running for masters, proof of fund, you don't even need proof of fund, but what you need for per session is about $4,000. Yes, $4,000 that you need, and you pay per semester for uh, Russia school, which is about $2,000. But one good thing about Russia school is that if you undertake uh, a program they have, which they call foundation program, we have two uh, students for masters uh, taking that now. If you go to their um, uh, foundation course program, which runs for one year, then you proceed to masters, you will be entitled to 75% scholarship. That means you will be paying 25% uh, tuition uh, uh, fee. But the thing is that within that foundation program, you will learn you will learn a Russian language. So with the advantage of Russian language, you will now proceed for your a master's program. So you'll be paying to 5% of So out of the 4,000 dollars, you might end up just paying about maybe 1,000 or 1,005 per, per session. So that's a cheaper one. That is one of the cheapest uh, schools in Europe. And the standard, the standard is the same thing. Uh, Russian academic standard is same to the American standard. It's the same thing. And after your education, you can easily relocate to another country, even if uh, you want to move to the US, you want to move to Canada, you want to move to any Schengen country. You can easily relocate from um, Russia to uh, another country, and the job is guaranteed for you in Russia. You have job guarantee, even while you do the foundation course, which was for one year, uh, nine months specifically, you still have a job. Uh, when you start the master's program, you still have a job. After your program, job is guaranteed. Job is guaranteed. And if you want to relocate, to another country, all you need to do is to search for Russian uh, companies in the country you want to relocate and apply to them while you are still in Russia. And once they take you, you'll be relocating as an expatriate. So if you check your financial uh, muscle or financial capability, you cannot cope with the uh, US, you cannot so. cope with uh, Russia, I mean, um, um, uh, Norway. Uh, Norway, and you can't cope with uh, 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 Poland. Russia okay. is there for you. It's them. They are, they are all the European uh, uh, standard. They have the same certification, the same accreditation, the same global approval and acceptance. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you can afford US, fine. We can package it for you. You don't pay school fees. You don't even pay your service for US and the Russia. We don't charge any service fee. We, our service fee is free because these universities, they are the ones that pay us. But for Poland and for Norway, you pay us hundred thousand service uh, fee, and you pay us fifty thousand uh, uh, upfront before we start. Before then, we must have checked eligibility. You will send us your documents. We check eligibility if you qualify for it. If you qualify, then we'll get back to say, okay, you are fit. You now pay us our advance payment. We cannot proceed uh, to process for you. We do the processing from beginning to end. We do the process for you. All you need to do is to supply the documents and any information that we need. We we'll handle the process for you until you get your admission and the visa as well. Thank you. Um, Lawa, you're raising your hand. Um, uh, okay, you can meet yourself and go ahead. Zenab said, do you do for news that? No, we have mentioned the countries we do, USA, um, Norway, Poland, and Russia. These are the countries we do for now. Lawa, you're raising your hands. 
la one la Yudia. Okay, um, I can't see your name. Say Techno uh, Common Seventeen P. Okay, you can go. You can mute yourself. You can go ahead. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Okay. okay. My right, name is ahead. Obina. My name is Obina. Okay, Obina. Yes, go ahead. Uh, so I want to ask, uh, well, why is it that they usually have delay for Poland, mm -hmm. for Poland um, 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 visa processing for those who search for admission? I don't know what you mean by delay. Uh, the schools they I have, have they have, have the. I don't know the agent you're using, and I don't I don't want to go into that. But they have a, a, the period that the portal opens for application. So if you apply within the period the portal uh, opens, you will complete the admission uh, procedure before resumption. And mind you, like in, in, in Norway, the application period for African countries is different for application period for European countries. Oh, and for African countries, we have only one window. We have only one window, which is uh, October to November, so we extend to December against December. against uh, August, August. Uh, enrollment, but the same Norway has four uh, intakes for European countries. So if you're not well guided and an agent start to apply for you under the European uh, window, which is not for African window, of course you end up not getting visa. You not get visa, so it depends. I don't know what was have caused that. I can actually uh, uh, place my hand on what was have caused oh. that, but I know that if you follow the procedure of the school for African countries, definitely you should get your admission at the right time and uh, as well as your visa. So when when can one when can one begin to uh, register for Norway admission? It's open now. You start immediately. The uh, application portal is open now. It runs from October to November. Some open first, some open seven, some open 15, maybe some towards the end of the month. But by November, they start closing. Uh, the late one will close by December. By December, is closed for African countries. So if any agent tells you, maybe by February, that the portal is open, he's telling you rubbish because the portal open by February is for European countries, not African countries. So for African countries, we have only now to maybe November, December, to apply for Norwegian schools against August intake. Yes, yes uh, you know, sir, you should double. You can go ahead, you have a question. I'm sorry, before the Dawood has said, can I go with my son for Master Norway? Yes, you can go with your son under a different arrangement. And you must have proof of phone enough to cover you and your family. And the visa application has to be a different arrangement, not from the school. But we can apply for you under a different arrangement. But you must provide proof of phone that will cover you and uh, the family. And uh, Lawan, what is the total package for Russia? Like I said to you, if you're for master, it's about four thousand dollars per session. If it's for uh, first degree, maybe it's there about. It depends on the course you are running for. Yes, you should double. Unmute yourself and go with your question. Unmute yourself. You should double. Unmute. Unmute yourself. Unmute. Unmute yourself. I'm mute. Aha. Uh -huh. Good evening, okay. everyone. Yeah. Good evening. Sir, please, can one apply with NECO results? Because my wife is poor. The standard for Norwegian school. The standard is WAYEK result, but you can try with NECO. There's no harm in trying. Like I explained yesterday, they have standard requirement, but if you fall short of the standard requirement, maybe you have NECO result. Uh, for masters, their requirement is 3.5 uh, CGPA. Uh, maybe you have CGPA is below 3.5. You can still apply. Even I've seen people apply with Oscar and it's still scale through. What happens is this, they have number of slots the result for international students. And if you're in a department or you're applying to a department that is not competitive, and by the time the number that met the requirement uh, is complete and they have not completed the slot, the number of slots that they have, they will now consider those that not meet the requirement. So if you are lucky and you uh, fall into such a department, you can be taken. So there's no harm in trying. There's no harm. So if you have a result and you're interested, 
go ahead and try. You won't commit any money and until you're given or you won't commit any money to the school until you're given admission. So if they said no, fine, they're not losing anything. And age 35, will that disqualify me? Age 35, will that disqualify me? For first degree or for, for master's? First degree. Uh, that might be an issue. They normally prefer 20, maybe 22, at most 23. So for 35, might be a challenge. It might be a challenge. It might be a challenge. Except you want to, uh, maybe we can manage to push you in for uh, Russia University. Awesome. But for, for Norway, that would be a challenge. For first degree, okay, thank you. for first degree, they prefer 23 years downward, 23, 21, to, down to 18. They prefer those ones. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Sarkels, can I have your question? Sarkels, unmute yourself. Sarkels. 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 Okay, I'm going to hold on, Joy. Joy, you can unmute yourself. Joy, go with your question. Unmute yourself. I'm going with your question. Joy, you are raising your hand. Okay, um, the other is asking the people of fund, is it going to be sent to school? Yes, you will send the money. You will send the money. Uh, you will send the money to the school. Joy, you can unmute yourself. Sarkels. Okay. Um, All right, uh, uh, hello? Yeah, who is speaking? Yeah, this is Sarkels. Okay, Sarkel, all right, go with your question. All right, so uh, I've dropped several questions in the chat, so that's why it was not answered. So, okay, this is what I want to ask. I want to ask for me and then my sister. For my sister first, she has her O level in WAEC, which is good, um, but then she does not, her uh, O level is not science based, but she has interest now in studying nursing. I don't know how that could work. For Norway, it will not work. For Russia, it will work. For Russia, okay. it, will, it will work. For Norway, it will work. For Russia, she has to go through financial course, um, a one-year program. It's actually nine months, one-year program. Once she goes through the uh, uh, financial course, then she proceeds to uh, study the medicine, either the medicine, medicine, pharmacy, uh, uh, nursing, nursing, therapy. They have the same foundation. So after foundation, she can choose anyone to, to go for. Okay, so for this foundation course, is it the same process? For foundation course, we need her uh, old level and her uh, data page, and the cost is $2,750, and the enrollment for October is currently going on. So if she's ready, we can push her in to join the uh, October uh, enrollment. So by the end of this okay. month, so the first week of November, she can travel out. Uh, she will study uh, Russian language. After she's done with the uh, foundation program, she'll now proceed to nursing proper and she'll be entitled to a 75% scholarship because she will study nursing in Russian language. And by the time she's done with the foundation program, she might decide to change her mind. She might say, okay, she's not going for nursing again. She wants to go for medicine. She wants to go for pharmacy. She wants to go for physiotherapy. So she can ch change to take another medical line that's not uh, nursing. So that's nursing. one game okay, there. All right. Yeah. Okay, so for the Russia, it is 2007. Okay, so... 2007 for 2015 for the, for the foundation course, yes. Foundation course. That yes, works. for the, for the All right, session, then, yes. All right, then for me, um, I actually have my BSc. Um, I want to do master's in, say, like, public health. So, um, I don't know. The Russian one you mentioned, my scare about Russia is that I've had several complaints about racism. I don't no, know how no, that is. No, we have so many Nigerians there. Presently, we have uh, four Nigerians uh, ready, and we have two we are still processing. Hopefully, this will start up the two. So, this batch only, at least from, from our own side, we have six going, and also we have from other agents. At least in that place, from African country, we have a lot, we have thousands of uh, Africans there. That's not like uh, racism. No, 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 no. It's not. That's okay, and then, and then what's the was the what was the um for russia now if i am um, to do the russia and i want to go with my family as well is that possible uh no 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 that would be a different uh power arrangement altogether uh, from the school that would not be possible so you have to go first 
maybe by the time you get a job and you balance, you can then apply for your family to join you. But going with them, as the child says, no, it won't be possible. Not even from even, even, even for Norway, even for Norway, you won't go with them at the initial stage. But when you get there, uh, get some job and get balance of them, we can start processing for them to join you. All right then, thank you. Okay, so I believe we have attended to every question. Um, if you're interested in enrolling for uh, Norwegian uh, schools, please start early. Start early. Avoid a fire brigade approach. Ensure you have the fund. Ensure you have the fund. If you don't have the fund, look for another school, another country that you can afford. Uh, my question is not being answered. What is the question, please? Um, who is asking? Say my question. What is the question? How much is that? Money for Russia. I've already explained for foundation course is 2750 for masters and the first degree is around four thousand dollars per session, depending on the course. It's not the same amount, so it might be three thousand plus, but the highest you can get is four thousand dollars per session for Russian uh, education. Okay, our time is up. I believe. Uh, do you possess for Germany? No, I've mentioned the country you possess for. We possess USA, Poland. Norway and Russia. And for now, Russia. and for now, USA and Poland, the portals are closed. Only Norway and Russia are open now. And Russia is already late entry. So Russia, if you are interested in Russia, by this week, we need to uh, fast track your admission. After this week is off. Please, when do we start submitting and to who? You submit, if you want to apply through us, you apply through us, like we say. You send us your documents, we check your eligibility. If you are qualified, we now charge you plus 50,000 in advance. Once we receive the money, we open up the application process for you. You give us unnecessary documents. By the time uh, we are done with admission and the visa, you press the balance. For Norway, can the proof of form be sent instrumentally, like first sent for two sections? I don't understand your question, but I know that the amount required must be paid to the school, they must see the full amount before they can send you admission letter. Without the full amount, no admission letter. For master, can one work while school? Yes, you work while school in Norway and Russia, you work while school. In Norway, you will search for the job for yourself, but in Russia, is the school that will get the job for you. So job is more guaranteed in Russia, in, Russia. In, in, in Norway, you search for the job by yourself. Job is available, but you search for yourself. But in Russia, the school is part of the school program. So working is compulsory in Russia. It's part of the school program. So you. thank you. Thank you. Thank, how do we start application for master for which course? What's the proof of form like? How can we send to uh, you documents? You can chat on the WhatsApp group. Look for the admin. We have our four admin. Contact any of the admin or how to send documents. You can send by email. You can send by um, by WhatsApp. Once you have document, check eligibility. We'll confirm to you that yes, you are qualified for uh, for uh, Norway. They can proceed. Admins are not replying chats. No, they do. They do. No, Dauda, I'm one of the admins. We reply chat except when you're asking questions that were answered. Some people they keep on asking the question over and over and over. We have close to 250 people on the WhatsApp group. So we have on WhatsApp, so um, Instagram, Facebook, and the, and the uh, YouTube. If we continue answering every question, trust me, that we won't be able to do anything for the rest of the year. So that's why we organize program like this, so that where we can attend to different questions at the same time. So when we get questions being asked over and over, over, like we normally send the basic uh, 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 knowledge you need to, basic information you need to know, we send out the group. After sending the basic information, some people will see be chatting, admin, on the same uh, issues that were being treated there. Sometimes it's annoying. It's as if you don't read what we post there. So if you go to what we post there, you discover that you have enough information to decide whether you want to proceed mm. with the program mm. or not. Advert. So our time Knowledge. is up. How much is having charge for Norway? 100,000. I've explained that 100,000. You put 50,000 up uh, advance. When we are done with the admission and the visa, uh, you put us our balance. So we charge 100,000 to process a Norwegian application. But for US and the Russia, we don't charge. For Norway and Poland, we charge 100,000. 
Okay, I think uh, it's been a great time. I believe uh, we have attended to all the uh, questions. If there's any question that was not treated, feel free to ask any of the admin. This uh, meeting is being recorded. How much is the visa fee for Norway? It was three years a day. As our last session, it was 222,000 naira. That's about $584. With the exchange rate now, the visa fee should be close to 237,000 naira. Yes, the visa fee now is around 237,000 naira with the current exchange rate. The school fee is about $12,000, which is about $6 million plus. Then uh, the ticket fee, uh, mm -hmm. you should be looking at about $500,000 naira or thereabouts for, for Norway. Okay, thank you everyone. Um, you said please drop your WhatsApp number. Yes, go to the group. On the group chat, check the admins. The group, yes. We have four admins. Chat any of the admins. Chat any of the admins, please. Chat any of the admins. Thank you. Uh, been a nice time. Um, hope to see more of you. If you're interested, start the application early. From time to time, we'll see how programs like this to educate you all. Um, we are glad to have you, and I believe we have attended to you, and uh, you must have gotten your um, confusion and that clarified. Thank you. Um, enjoy Thank you, the week. Sir. Bye. Thank you, sir.